Hey everyone, we're here to learn a bit about nutrition today and Robbie Ward is with me. We're looking forward to hearing what he has to help us with today. Hey, good morning. My name is Robbie Ward and I'm currently a nursing student. I'm three months shy of graduating and uh, nutrition is one of my passions and something that I have studied in school and on my own. So I'm excited to talk to you guys today a little bit about nutrition facts and reading nutrition labels when you go to the grocery store. So today we're going to talk about nutrition and how to read labels when you go to the grocery store. This is something that sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you don't know exactly all the different things that are listed on a label. So to get started, I have a label that I'm going to show you. We're going to go through line by line and look at some of the things and talk about how they affect your body and talk about what you should and should not be shopping for. Okay, so what we're looking at is the nutrition facts that you'll see posted on every item at the grocery store. We're going to start out with the serving size. The serving size is listed at the very top. And for this particular item, the serving size is one cup. Now, notice please that the servings per container is two. So the total servings in this whole container is going to be two cups. Then we'll go down next to the calories. We're going to talk about the significance of calories. And then we're going to go down to some of the things that you want to stay away from. Those are the fats, specifically the saturated and trans fats. Also, cholesterol and sodium. These are things to watch out for. Then listed next, you're going to have the carbohydrates and then some of the good items that are in these ingredients. That's going to be your dietary fibers, your vitamins, and some of your minerals. Okay, we're going to start talking about calories. So calories are basically energy. So you need to think about it in the terms of energy in needs to equal energy out. So the amount of calories that you take in per day need to be the amount of calories that you burn up per day. Now most, most of the reading labels that you're going to see are based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Individual needs vary. Uh, most people live a more sedentary life these days, so they might need a less, less calories than 2,000. And some people who are very active, um, particular people who are on their feet or doing active labor, they might need a little more than 2,000 calories. So those are going to vary, and you can kind of determine those based on your individual needs. The next item that we have this listed down is going to be the fats. So the fats, there are four different types of fats. There are saturated and trans fats. Those are your bad fats. So most of the labels will only list these bad fats right here. There are two other types of fats that are good. and Those, those fats are the poly and the mono. And the easiest way to remember that is PM at night. Just think those are the good fats. So poly and mono are your good, saturated and trans are the bad, and those are the ones to avoid. So when you're looking at a label, you'll notice that the total fat content, particularly on this one, is going to be 12 grams. So if you look at the breakdown, you'll see that there are 3 grams of saturated and 3 grams of trans. But 3 and 3 don't add up to 12, so where are the other 6 grams of fat? Those are going to be in the good fats. Those are going to be in the poly and in the mono. So those are some of the better fats that you're not needing to worry about so much because they're better for you. So let's move down to the next item on the list. The next item is going to be fiber. So fiber is good. Fiber is found in whole grains and wheat and in a lot of the vegetable sources. So fiber is good because it helps to regulate your digestive system and keep things flowing, so to speak. So a good amount of fiber in a day is going to be healthy for you and it's going to help to keep you regular. So dietary fiber is a good thing. Another thing that you want to see on the list is going to be the sodium. So sodium content is going to need to be watched by people who experience high blood pressure, uh, people who have any kind of heart disease, any kind of coronary artery disease, or anything like that. A lot of doctors will put you on a heart healthy diet or a low sodium diet, some call it. So those particular people are going to need to monitor their sodium intake and make sure that they keep within the regulations that their doctor has prescribed. So sodium is going to be something to watch out too for. So on the very bottom of the list, you're going to have the vitamins and the minerals. So all of these are based on uh, government regulations that have approved and are recommending a certain intake per day. And again, that intake is based on a 2,000 calorie diet. And they're recommending a certain portion of those 2,000 calories to contain some of these vitamins and minerals. And you'll see at the bottom, this will be listed out individually. Those are good things. Those are things that you want to see in a food. So 
to recap, the dangerous things to look for on a nutrition label are going to be the saturated and the trans saturated fats. Those are things you want to stay away from. You want to stay away from things that have a large amount of calories. You definitely want to watch the serving size to make sure that you're not going to take in more than is on the serving label. So sometimes, again, a box can contain more than one serving. So make sure that you're reading and eating, consuming only the amount of the serving size. And again, you just want to make sure that the calories in equals the calories out. And the best way to do this is through activity, exercise, walking, cleaning your house, getting up and walking a couple of laps around the block, whatever it is that you do that keeps you active and healthy and moving, that is how you burn calories. And that is how you get your calories in to equal your calories out.